Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here and today I'm going to be bringing you another Mass Effect 3 gameplay commentary. Today I'm going to be using the Turian Saboteur and I'm going to be using the Acolyte Pistol on him. I really do like this gun because it strips shields, it can set up fire explosions and all that good, good stuff. And then you hit him with the homing grenade and they die. So it is awesome for him. Um, I recommend light guns on him though. I wouldn't recommend really, really heavy guns. All right, now the first thing you might notice, I do not have Sentry Turret. I do recommend actually resetting him so you can get rid of it. I do not like that power. All right, for Sabotage, I like Backfire. Backfire is a very cool effect, but there is something you guys really need to know. Is that if you want to do Tech Burst with Sabotage, you have to let the Backfire effect hit them first. Then they, set the, then they are set up for Tech Burst, so I didn't know that. All right, next up is going to be uh, Exploding Hack. Now, I went for this, but I actually immediately regretted it, and I kind of recommend Recharge Speed because I didn't realize the Recharge Speed on Sabotage is very long. 4.3 seconds with 200%? What the fuck? Yeah, so that's an issue. And then finally, Tech Vulnerability, which is very good because it's just all tech powers, including all tech explosions, fire and cryo explosions, and tech bursts. Now, for homing grenades... Um, 30% more damage. I do like that. It is very powerful grenade. Fire damage is as DPS and I think can give you to, uh, fire explosions. And then finally, the final one's going to be armor damage. Just more damage to armor and actually it will debuff armor uh, weapon like damage against armor. Next up is going to be the Legion. I go for damage and capacity just for some more power damage. Power damage as well. And finally, just some weapons damage and stability. I do like that. And then finally for fitness, all shields. That's just the way I go on most of my guys. And that is the way I recommend on this guy. Alright, now for the equipment. I recommend incinerary rounds for getting fire explosions. Because tech mobility does work with that. Uh, pistol rail lamp 3, grenade capacity 5, and cyclonic modulator 2. Alright guys, let's get into the gameplay. Alrighty guys, this is going to be the gameplay. It's going to be on the map Hydra versus Cerberus gold and let's go ahead and get into this Turian Saboteur alright now first thing I want to say about him is by far he was one of the only ones out of the entire retaliation DLC that I was super 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 excited for um, and I just personally thought that from his power setup and everything that he seemed like he was going to be extremely 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 good but guys, unfortunately, I was kind of wrong. Um, now, is he good? Yeah, for the most part, he's pretty decent. Like, he, he has some nice things going for him. I do like the sabotage. But he he doesn't work the way I thought he was going to work. But that was because, I guess I don't play the Korean Infiltrator enough to know this. Um, or, well, the female Infiltrator, that is. I guess I don't play her enough to actually know this, but I actually didn't know, the, I actually didn't fully understand the way that Sabotage uh, actually works. I remember playing the Korean female infiltrator and sabotaging and throwing my sticky on the ground and then getting a tech burst. I mean, that was a pretty simple, easy thing to do. So when I heard about this guy, I was like, that sounds dope, because now I can just sabotage and shoot a homing grenade and I'll get a ton of tech bursts and it will be, and he actually reminded me of the Korean male engineer but uh, he would just be a little different obviously instead of throwing a grenade and shooting a power he would set him up with a power and then hit him with a grenade so it'd be like kinda of the opposite but also very good just like the Korean male engineer but like I'm saying uh, yeah, no, I was actually wrong because I didn't fully understand the way that sabotage works. Um, the way it works is that because of the backfire, and if you guys don't know what that is, that is uh, when the enemies shoot at you, they take some damage uh, because their gun overheats or it explodes in their face, whatever. Um, and what will happen is that when, th when they are hit by that effect, then they'll be set up for a tech burst. And you can actually see the electrical effect, get, you know, actually hit, it will hit them, like when they shoot. And they'll actually stun from that. So that's the way you can tell. The problem is, is that it really just depends on the enemy. I mean, if you hit an enemy and they're in cover, they're probably not going to shoot their gun and have it overheat. So you're not going to get a ton of tech bursts with this guy. And that's the problem, is that because he does not do tech bursts easily, I mean, he can do them, but it's not 
I thought every single time I was going to do uh, the combination, it was going to give me a tech burst. So I thought it was going to be great. But you actually rarely ever get the tech burst. And the, another problem, too, is that if you fight against Geff, you will never get tech burst against robots because you don't actually set them up with backfire. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty confident um, that you, you never set them up with backfire because you hack them. So against like Geff, that's the case, you'll never ever get tech burst. And that's a, that's a bitch if that's the case. I mean, it, it's, um, it, it's a big shame. Now, there is some stuff you can do, though. There is actually one thing that I figured out that I thought was pretty, pretty good. Which is, uh, if you use the ammo, like incinerary ammo, for example, well, you can detonate fire explosions with the homing grenades. And because you have the sabotage, you can actually use sabotage to get the tech mode ability. And if you can set them up with your ammo, you can do a fire explosion. And because of the tech mode ability, it's, it actually will be a very powerful fire explosion. Now, the problem is, is that when you use ammo to set up an explosion, the way that explosions work is that they go off the evolution of the two powers combined. So if it's like, uh, let's say, a tech burst and you're using energy drain that's maxed out and overload that is maxed out, you're going to have the maximum strongest tech burst that you can get. But if you're using uh, an ammo, like, in, uh, like a disruptor ammo, to set them up, and that's only level goes up to level 4, and then overload at level 6 to detonate it, it's going to combine to 12. 12 total, I mean not 12, it's going to combine to 10 total compared to 12 total from like two actual powers. So that's a problem right there, I mean, I don't know. Now right here, this is this is pretty crazy. Uh, I've had a video about this before and it happened again. It's happened, this has actually happened to me a couple times. This is probably like the third time this has happened to me. And it's always funny when it does, and yeah, if I'm about to show you right now, yeah, the Atlas is up on top of the hut. I don't know how that happens, it's fucking crazy, um, and it's funny as hell, but he's going to be up there, and we're going to be like, now we're just going to go ahead and kill him. Anyway, let me get back to what I was talking about, though. Um, so that's the way it works, though, if, you, if, if any of you guys didn't know. So if you have ammo, like a level 3 ammo and level 6 power, it's only a level 9 explosion. If it's uh, a level 12, if it's like a level 6 um, power, level 6 power, that's a level 12 explosion. So that's just the way it works. And unfortunately, that's going to actually decrease your fire explosion of, like, power. Because you're not going to be using, like, something like Flamer. So, I mean, that's that's definitely an issue, but the tech mode ability kind of makes up for it. So, I don't really exactly know the damage on them, but I would say it's probably about the same as what a what a normal fire explosion would do. I mean, but overall, though, like I said, I am kind of disappointed with this guy, and I mean, I know that you guys are probably pissed at me, you're going to be like, Joby, you never play Mass Effect anyway, blah, 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 and yeah, well, the main reason I don't, I haven't been playing Mass Effect, and I don't really have the mood to play Mass Effect, is because I'm fucking bored with this game, to be quite honest, I'm 100% bored with this game, and it ain't helping that every time I get on Mass Effect and I try out the new uh, retaliation characters that are coming out, I, I feel disappointed, or I just don't like them, and some of you guys disagree with me, yeah, that's totally okay, but in my opinion, a lot of them that have came out, I, I haven't liked, the only one that I've liked in, of recent was the Gef Soldier, but that was like a month, that was like a month and something ago, that was a while ago when he came out, and there's been a couple of them, like the Valkyrie, the Ghost, the Gef Soldier, maybe, um, I don't really know, maybe another one, uh, Havoc Soldier, maybe, I don't know, there's been a couple of them that are that they have been pretty good and I've enjoyed them, but a lot of the other ones, at least the major, I think the majority of the other ones I haven't really liked as much. Actually, I take that back. I actually do like the Brawler as well. The Brawler was fun, but you know those are a couple of the good ones. And then like the Volus Sentinel, I, I don't like him. Uh, Corian Marksman, I don't like him. Turian Havoc, I honestly don't like the Turian Havoc. That not Turian Havoc. I mean uh, Turian Saboteur. I actually don't like this guy that much, uh, just because I'm just kind of just disappointed with him, and there's a lot of problems, and I'll get into those as I go, but, um, so yeah, Turian Saboteur, I don't really like him too much, um, the Asari Infiltrator, I know they did some crazy, amazing stuff with her, like, uh, power damage now, so she probably will be, like, a lot better, but when I first played her, I didn't really like her that much either, um, I mean, that's been a ton of... Oh, Vorcha Engineer, didn't like him. 
uh, the Batarian Adept, he's not out yet, but when he comes out, I probably won't like him. So, I mean, I could just keep going on and on, and it seems like the majority of them I have not liked. So, that does not help me, like, want to play the game. Believe me. Alright, so that's a big bummer, and that's been a real disappointment. Um, I wish I can like play this game and have a lot of fun, but I just I just can't do it. Every time I play, I get bored right away, and I want to get off and go do something else, or, you know, that's how it goes. So, anyway, let me get back into the Aturian Saboteur, though, because there's other things that I have issues with him. Um, like I said, overall, though, um, he homing grenades are good, so just because homing grenades are pretty good... He, he is pretty good, um, and Sabotage is a very good power for the most part. Maybe not for doing the tech burst thing, because um, it isn't as great as I thought it was, but it is a good power because Backfire is actually pretty freaking awesome. And uh, hacking turrets and atlases and Gef, that's always cool. So, why not? Yeah, Sabotage is pretty good, Homing Grenade is pretty good. But the combination of the powers is what's not good. And, you know, a good example, too, is one thing I, I, I don't like about homing grenades. Because you got to remember, just like I didn't play with, um, just like I really didn't play with uh, the Corian female infiltrator a lot with Sabotage, I actually never, ever played the Demolisher much. So I actually don't use, I don't actually use homing grenades a lot. So that's just the way it goes. Um, and... <sighs> I guess I knew this, but in, you know, once you once once you start to play with someone like the saboteur, which his main power besides sabotage is homing grenades. So, to be quite honest, his main power is kind of homing grenades because that's how you're going to do the majority of your damage. Uh, the problem with him that I always realized, well, I realized right away, was that there's two of them. The first thing is that homing grenades have just a, such a slow travel time. That it takes so long to hit that the enemies actually dodge it a lot. I mean, especially servers. They can dodge the crap out of your homing grenades. So, that's really annoying, to be quite honest. Um, like, with the Demolisher, it's not an issue because since you throw an arc grenade, that actually stuns them. Then you hit them with the homing grenade, so they don't really get the chance to dodge. And normally you get the tech burst and you kill them all. So... That's your difference. With this guy, um, the homing grenades, well, they, they do tend to miss at times, and that's that's always a big bummer when that happens. The other thing I didn't really know about Sabotage, which is, like, the worst thing, uh, and this goes for the Marksman as well, because I will be doing a video for the Marksman, guys. If you guys were curious about that, I will do a video uh, for him, so don't worry about that. But like I, I just told you a minute ago, I, I really don't like him that much either. Um... But, in general though, yeah, Sabotage, um, it just has such a long recharge speed. Uh, it really does. And I was, I was almost shocked by that. Right here, I'm gonna get dropped. And I'm in a bad position. I believe I'm gonna get dropped for the second time, like, right away. Again, I, maybe. Huh, or maybe not. I don't know. I just know I died, like, I think two times this game, so, whatever. Anyway, oh yeah, here it is. Here, I'm going to get dropped right here. And then I'm going to get up, and I actually might get dropped again. Like, I can't remember. No, I guess it was just the once. But that's the fun part with this guy, honestly. The fun part with this guy is is actually hacking things like turrets. Because that's always fun, like, to have a turret fight an atlas. God damn, those service turrets are just so crazy overpowered. And being able to hack them is just awesome. But anyway, um, what was I talking about exactly? Um, oh yeah, it's the long recharge time on Sabotage. It, because if you, but see, I always thought, I actually never paid attention to the recharge time on Sabotage. Because since it was always only on an infiltrator, the Korean female, there was no point to even look at the time. And I always thought that, you know, if I was to, if you were to ask me and I didn't know, like, on the top of my head. Well, I wouldn't. Let's say I never looked at sabotage because I never really did. And you were to ask me what did I think sabotage recharge type speed was, I would have said probably like three seconds, something like that. But no, it's not. It has this long recharge time. So the problem with this guy, another one of his issues is that if you want to use any type of like better gun, alkali pistol is good, Talon's good. Those, those, those kind of weapons are good. But um, if you want to use a heavier gun like the Harrier or maybe a shotgun or something, 
yeah, your recharge time is just insanely long. It's like seven seconds, like five seconds, uh, ten seconds. Like you're talking about just crazy recharge time, um, and it's just crazy. It's it's just annoying as hell. That's for sure, because um, you're not going to be able to get your tech burst like you want to, or get your uh, tech vulnerability, or your stun. I mean, that's the main thing. Like, it, with him, Sabotage, it does stun. It doesn't stagger or nothing like that, but it does give you just a little stun. And that's great because um, when you stun him, like a nemesis, it just stops him from moving. And that's always it's always great to have that because when you're trying to deal with like something like a nemesis and you don't have a stun move and they keep bobbing and weaving and you're shooting away and you're missing and you feel like an idiot, it makes, at least with me, it makes me rage. Because it's like, oh my god, I suck, I'm terrible, I can't hit this fucking thing. And without the stun move, um, it, it's so much worse. So, like, at least with him, he gets that uh, with the sabotage. And it does have two forms of stunning as well. It stuns on contact, just a little bit of a little stun. And it actually does stagger slash just drops. It drops enemies to, like, the ground if they're unshielded. It staggers them if they're shielded. Is that when the backfire hits them? When that backfire hit them, uh, hits them, it's very good, extremely good. Anyway, though, overall, though, I would say that the saboteur is definitely um, is it, definitely not what I thought he was going to be, and I am disappointed because of that. But he does have, you know, his powers in general are pretty good. Sabotage in general is a pretty good power. Homing grenades are very good grenades. They they do a lot of damage, um, and yeah, I mean that's the that's the main thing. So the only thing about him that uh, that makes me disappointed and makes me not like him is honestly I don't like the way his powers combine because they don't combine the way that I thought they would. And I don't. I guess I would just say I'm just so disappointed in that that it takes away from me like actually like going out of my because you could get the tech burst i mean all you would have to do is sabotage and just wait for them to um be hit by the backfire and then you shoot the grenade you can get tech burst that way so you could do that like don't get me wrong you could do that but i just don't i just think that would just take just too much time <laughs> like to be honest <laughs> that would take like a lot of time all right so this is gonna be wave 10 we're gonna get to objects and uh this is kind of nice right here, if I remember right. Um, I'm going to be fighting a lot of phantoms. and Like I said, the fun part is hacking these atlases and the turrets and stuff. And uh, <laughs> Man, it's, it is dope because when you hack, when you hack a, an atlas, and you're, especially on waves like this, they can, the atlases can really fuck up these phantoms. So I'm just going to try to sit on this kind of area of the map and just keep... If I can keep all these phantoms... And like all these, like the Atlas and all this, all these, all this nonsense, all this nonsense around me, it's gonna help my team uh, mates out who have the package because now they're they're not gonna have as many enemies on them. I mean that's just the way the shit goes. Like you know, I wouldn't go and sniff the booty hole of the guy with the pizza box package. I wouldn't do that because all I would be doing is just following him and having all those enemies follow me to him that's not smart so it's best to normally spread out and try to get the enemies to come to you and not to the guy with the objective when he's doing something like that alright so I believe this atlas might be like the last enemy and I'm just gonna keep shooting it like I said you could use different weapons on him but one of his problems is that I mean it's a power recharge of sabotage it's a, it's a nightmare so you want to keep it light. Maybe, uh, honestly, what would be actually pretty good with him would be the Hurricane. That is something you guys could try. And now that I think about it, I should have tried that as well. Hurricane would have definitely been good. And maybe go for damage and stability instead of damage and capacity. And you would be, like, in pretty good shape. Um, that's something to try. But I, I, what I would say not to do, don't, like, try to strap on a Claymore. Or try to strap on... Um, things like of that nature because it just would be so long that it, it'd be a nightmare. I mean, Gef, I keep seeing people with Gef Plasma shotguns on the Turian Saboteur, uh, Saboteur and I don't really see how that, I don't think that's a smart idea either. Just the recharge time once again would be just so long that I, I just don't even know. 
Anyway, though, as you can tell, this game is wrapping up, though, for the most part. We are in the extraction wave. We have, like, one minute left. And I'm just going to move back and forth and just kind of, like, try to keep these enemies, or uh, really just try to keep me alive, to be honest. And um, hopefully I will get it and stuff. That was pretty dope. It's a homing grenade right there. Big old feed, which is always dope. Um, next week, guys, more than likely they're going to either come out with the Volus Vanguard, or they're going to come out with the... Um, what I think they would probably come out with the Batarian Adept. So either one they come out with of those two, I think I would actually, if I were just to choose one, I would say the Volus Vanguard because I really do think the Volus Vanguard will be good. But who knows because I really, I, I mean, I really thought that the Turian Saboteur was going to be godly good. I mean, like the best engineer kind of good, which I was totally wrong. So I don't know. Hopefully the Volus Vanguard would be good. The Batarian Adept I think will be not that good <laughs> but yeah guys i really hope you have enjoyed this please like this video for me and like always guys have a nice day